Okay, so welcome back. Today we're going to do a very quick video. I know people like quick videos so they can get back to doing more important things like playing video games. In this video, we're going to talk about a really nice feature in Visual Studio Windows Forms. And that is what you see here. I can right click on a control and it will bring up what's called a context menu strip. And this is really nice. It allows you to just do a simple right click on a control and it gives you a menu of items that you can select. In our case, we can select to rotate a component, an image in this picture box. We can add components or whatever, and you can make this menu list as long as you want. I've just got a few here. So I can select rotate and click on it, and it rotates the image. I can do it again. I can right click, select rotate, left click, right click, select rotate, left click, and then do it again. So really nice feature in Visual Studio Windows Forms. So now the control that allows you to do this is what's called a context menu strip. And it's very easy to implement in Windows Forms. It's basically a four-step process to implement this context menu strip. First thing is you drag and drop the control, the context menu strip control, into your Form 1 design. Now keep in mind that the context menu strip is associated with a control. In our case, it was associated with a picture box, but you can associate it with any control, a button, a text box, or whatever. And in this case, for example, uh, I have this context menu strip associated with this picture box, and that's why I can right-click on the picture box and it brings up the menu. However, if I go outside the picture box and right-click, there's no menu. So I'm right-clicking, there's no menu. So you associate it with one or more controls. So you drag and drop into the Form 1 design, and then what you do is you add the menu items. It's very simple. We'll show you how to do it. You just type in which menu items you want, and also the sub-menu items. Then what you have to do, as we said before, you have to associate that context menu strip with whatever control you want to associate it with. And we'll show you how to do that. You basically just select the picture box, then in the properties, it's got a property called context menu strip and you select which menu strip you want to associate with it. And then we're going to have to generate an event. So for example, if I select an item from the context menu strip, when I left click and select that, it needs to generate an event to go do something. So we're going to have to generate event and a handler by double clicking on the menu item just like any other uh, event. You can just double click on the control and generate an event. So basically those four steps, drag and drop, add the menu items, associate it with the control, and generate events. So let's take a look at a very simple c -Sharp Visual Studio Windows Forms application, show you how you can do this. So here I've got my Form 1 in the default project that I set up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to first add a picture box. Again, you can associate this with any control, but I'm going to start out with a picture box. So I take a picture box, drag and drop, and resize it. And now what I want to do is add a context menu strip associated with that picture box. So we go to Toolbox, Context Menu Strip, drag and drop, and you can see down here is our context menu strip. And up here you can see there is an area where I can add the different menu items in that context menu strip. So you can see this is selected. If I click the form, it's no longer selected and the entry panel for allowing me to add menu items is gone. So to get that back, I click again down here on the context menu strip and you can see it's available. So we've added the context menu strip. The next thing is to add a menu item. So I just click there and type rotate. So that's my first context menu strip item. And I can click on the next one, add component, and now I've got two menu items. Now, what I want to do is I want to associate it with this picture box. So that when I right click on the picture box, the menu item comes up. But when I right click on the form, we don't get the menu item. So I select the picture box and you can see one of the properties is context menu strip and it starts out with none. So I can click here and I can select this context menu strip one and now we have associated that context menu strip with this picture box one. So it only will show up when I right click over the picture box. So now the last thing we need to do is generate events associated with that context menu strip. 
So I reselect it, and here are the two menu items. So let's say I want to have a, uh, an event associated when I click on this rotate menu item, I want to generate an event and do something, in our case, rotate an image. So all I do is I go up to this item, double click, and you can see it automatically generates a rotate tool strip menu item. So whenever we right click on that picture box and then left click on the rotate menu item, it will come to this event handler and we can write whatever code. So I can go back and do the same thing for this other one, double click, and we've got the add component item. So really pretty straightforward, a very useful and very convenient way to select things based on the different controls. So if you like any of these videos, I encourage you to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notifications, but most of all, please let others know that we're here so we get some views, really appreciate it. Otherwise, take care, have a really good day, thanks.